this is a weird one because I said before that I don't think there's going to be a winner in the, in the Hall in the Cell, but obviously there's no disqualification in the Hall in the Cell, so I don't know how that can happen. But I just feel like I can't see them putting the title, taking the title off Seth that quick after beating Brock. At the same time, I don't think The Fiend needs the title. I think The Fiend's out for revenge, and he hasn't really mentioned not once in a Firefly Funhouse being a Universal Champion, so maybe I thought he'd maybe destroy Seth and just leave the belt. Sledgehammer. What's the ref doing? Ref is going mad. He's saying to Seth, you're going to kill this guy. There's a steel chair and a ladder on top of the steel chair and a toolbox on top of that. And Seth's got the sledgehammer. I'm about to smash him with it. Fans are going crazy. This is another one of the things when WWE just make their own rules up as they go along. They've done this in a triple threat match last month, I think it was, when uh, they called a disqualification. Seth crying. He done it. Why have they rang the bell? The Fiend's dead. Seth is curled up in the corner. The fans are going crazy. You are lucky that this is not in Chicago because there would have been people trying to rip the cell, cell door open. Fans are just shouting. Seth's losing his mind. He's screaming at The Fiend. This is your fault. What is going on? All the fans are losing their mind. There's a man in the crowd with the Fiend mask on and just creeping out. And they're putting, they're putting the Fiend on the stretcher. Fiend's dead, man. He's breathing, but... His soul's dead. <laughs> Oh no, just chanting AEW. That's not what they wanted. Mandible Claw! I can't believe the Fiend just got up. This is a bit of a shame because... Oh God, it's just Drabagale. This is a bit of a shame because they've tried their best to work this match how it can. They didn't want to put the belt on the Fiend too early, which makes sense because it, then it forces him to be in certain matches when we don't want to see him all the time. Fans are screaming, restart the match in AEW. And to be honest, WWE is my thing, but I feel like Bray Wyatt is the one that is keeping WWE afloat. They need to maybe sort the creative out a little bit. But who am I to judge, man? It's not my job yet. I mean, the thing with fans, without need to look into the business a little bit more before they start screaming for certain things. The AEW chance, them people need to be thrown out of the building. There's no need for that. Sister Abigail is, is removed the mats. Sister Abigail come in on the concrete. This will be the end of Seth. I mean, we will not sit in for a minute. Sister Abigail on the exposed cement. Mandible Claw again. Hurt gloves deep into the mouth of Seth. He's bleeding. He's bleeding from the mouth. Damn. That eternal bleeding going on. No more Seth. <laughs> 